place the holder main unit on the SOS and fix the holder fixing plate in the order of one, two, three. Next, place the Dewar spacer under the LN2 Dewar and insert the mini jack under the tip of the holder. When installing or removing a sample, you can stabilize the operation by placing a palm on the palm rest. Loosen the clamp by making 1.5 turns. Put the tweezers on the notch of sample keep plate. Slide the sample keep plate toward the end of the holder. Pull up the sample key plate diagonally upward. Set the sample on the bearing surface of cradle. Eucentric plane is located on the bearing surface side. If the sample is thin, use the attached single hole mesh as necessary. When installing the keep plate, reverse the steps to remove the keep plate. Put the keep plate between the fixing screw and the base of the cradle. Slide the keep plate toward the screw. Slide the key plate in the opposite direction to the screw. Tighten the screw to fix the key plate. Removal of holder from pedestal. First, remove the mini jack. Then pull the holder handle until it clicks. Attach a handle stopper to prevent accidental exposure of the sample to the atmosphere. When removing the holder, attach your hand to the handle and remove the holding plate in the order of one, two, three. Press the holder lift pin and lift the holder body. When attaching or removing the Ganeo cover, cure the screws to prevent them from falling down. When replacing the hinges, do so with the snap lock fixed. 
remove the four screws on the Ganeo side, fixing the hinge. Remove the latch lock while holding down the Ganeo cover by hand to prevent it from falling. Attach the hinge to the device using the attached screws. Insert the hinge of the Ganeo cover on the axis of the hinge on the device side. Insert holder into Ganeo and start the pump. When the specimen chamber gets ready, press the pump again and replace with nitrogen. When the replacement with nitrogen is complete, press the handle to release the tip of the stored holder. Press the pump button again and perform preliminary air exhaustion for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of preliminary exhaustion, slowly insert the holder, paying attention to the degree of vacuum. Before starting cooling, Record the stage coordinates of the sample to be used as a mark. This record will be used as a reference for checking the positional deviation due to the expansion and contraction of the holder after cooling. Connect the cable for temperature control and the cable for two access tilt to the holder to the Ganeo cover. Connect each cable connecting to the controller to the Ganeo cover. Connect each cable to the controller. Use the funnel provided to inject liquid nitrogen into the holder. When performing this operation, be sure to pour it little by little to minimize the spillage due to bumping. After bumping, inject liquid nitrogen until it is full.
When performing this operation, pour as much as possible to prevent leaks due to overcooling of the LN2 Dewar mouth. After injecting liquid nitrogen, cover the Dewar with a cool cap. After one hour, if the sample position is shifted after cooling, tap the handle part lightly. When you tap, sample position returns like this. Fix the cable to the housing to minimize vibration from the cable. After reaching liquid nitrogen temperature, temperature control is performed to suppress the drift. The left side shows the cradle temperature and the right side the Dewar temperature respectively. Touch the screen to start control. Touch LSP1. Touch change of LSP value. Enter the set temperature. Touch the icon on the top right. Touch ready. Touch run. Touch Run to start control. Double-click the DCT controller icon. After the window starts up, select the holder type. There are two modes of sample tilting, continuous and stepping. In continuous mode, the sample is operated by specifying the tilting speed. It operates at the set speed while pressing the button. Stepping can specify the tilt angle of the sample and the operation speed. To return the position of the sample, press the home button. To stop the operation, press the stop button. 
Stop all operations. Remove the two-axis inclined cable. Remove the cooling cap and return the holder to the preliminary exhaust chamber. When removing the holder, return it to room temperature and then remove it. Start control to room temperature in the same procedure as for cooling control. Check that the temperature has returned to normal temperature and remove the holder. Take out the holder and remove the cable. When disconnecting the cable, pull it straight out to avoid twisting it.